looking at um, the position we're in in terms of putting the spec together for December 22, it looks awfully like the same problems we faced uh, two or three years ago. We've still got the same choices that we've got to make in many respects in terms of we've got to decide what priorities we put on the Castlefield Corridor. And I'm sorry to keep banging on about the Castlefield Corridor. It sounds like a broken record talking about the Castlefield Corridor, but it is at the heart of, of the specification of how it affects everything else. Um, the one thing I'm clear about is that there is no clever timetable fix that's going to give everybody what they want, um, which, do, which does mean that somewhere along the line, we're stuck with having to make uh, uh, some compromises. Um, and that's going to be uncomfortable for everybody, not least of which the railway planners, because uh, it's not their job, actually, to decide on those. It's for it's for the leaders to decide on what those compromises should be. Uh, the train planner's job is to put together the timetable that serves the community, not not the other way around. Um, so I haven't got to the end of this process at all. I'm, I'm fearful that there's no easy fixes. Uh, there's no great surprises at the moment, frankly. Uh, and we haven't got a guiding mind to do wave a wand and decide for us either. Um, so I'll continue having the discussions. Um, uh, and unfortunately, as I've said many times before, I haven't got uh, a magic wand either. Um, and somehow we will have to decide what that specification looks like. And we need to decide that specification pretty soon because there's an awful lot of work the train planners will need to do in order to have a timetable uh, fit for consultation later on this year.